So Three River Stadium in Pittsburgh. It's a beautiful shot from above. The Goodyear blimp spirit providing the scenics this evening. Just to come into it. Second and four. And it is picked off by Rod Woodson. Goodbye. Goodbye. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Oh, we told you he would gamble. If that would have been a hitch and go, it would have been six the other way. But he will take that chance. Boy, did he eat that up. I'm not sure Rod Woodson even took a step backwards in defensing that pass pattern. He is so confident in his ability, his ability to recover from a mistake. If he went back, it couldn't have been more than a yard or so. Whoa, did he eat that alive. Top of your screen. Trying to get the ball out to Bill Brooks. And he oh. timed it out absolutely perfect. Boy, it's hard to smother one any more than that. Rod almost hurt himself <laughs> trying to slow down. Back for a touchdown. He has four others on returns. The seventh of his career. Ten to nothing. Pittsburgh. So far, they're doing exactly that. On second and 20, Kelly pump fakes, and that doesn't fool anybody, and Kevin Green gets the sack. Number eight for Kevin Green and 30 for the Steelers. No, he's not. Kevin Green, really just 245 pounds. But look, he gets up underneath Parker, just runs him all the way back. You have to be a little more physical as an offensive lineman. you got to challenge a guy. Part of the Buffalo Bills at the same time, something they very much like to do. Second and six, Davis again, and down he goes. Kevin Green finished him off at 13-7. This is still anybody's game here. Here's Jordan going nowhere. Jordan, first-year player out of Southern Illinois, and the former Saluki is tackled by Kevin Green. Heel to a game, there is a dominance, a physical dominance, on the part of the Steelers, even though three. And on second and long, it is dropped. It is incomplete at the 45. Andre Reed covered by Rod Woodson. You have an opportunity to see. Well, Andre, yeah, he put a hand in there, left hand, yeah. and knocked it out. Beautiful work by Woodson. Oh. His father, Mark Rooney, has it sent down. Second. Whoa! Seven, and Kelly gets sacked. The ball is loose. And it's a touchdown. Yeah. Gerald Williams with a TD. Rod Woodson created it. We he talked earlier about the success of the corner blitz and how there's no way to defend it if it is timed properly. Again, Woodson's lined up in the slot, and he times it beautifully, comes right off the corner, right in Kelly's face, and that's a Pittsburgh touchdown. He is one of the most disruptive players you'll ever find in this game. He comes right in from the right. Jim Kelly never sees him. So what has Rod Woodson done tonight? He's intercepted a pass, run it in for a touchdown, knocks the ball loose, and Gerald Williams gets the touchdown. A pretty strong night for Rod Woodson. I'm sure Woodson just came on his own. He probably had a man coverage. He probably was in the coverage. That one was just a delayed blitz by Woodson. He took the risk again. He does it so often. Ray Seals put on him. Oh, it continues. Yeah. Kevin Green uh, with a sack. Kevin Green, the longtime Ram, opted to sign here, has found a home in Pittsburgh, and he loves it, and the feeling is mutual. There's that corner they come again. Woodson comes from the side. Pass incomplete, fourth and 17. Jim Kelly is taking a pounding tonight. Dry cleaners are going to love it. That's what you get for bringing it up. <laughs> right goes down at the 46. That's seven sacks tonight. Kevin Green, I believe that's his... Third. <laughs> and Reich, well, he throws and it's. Oh, and a, oh, Frank played and Reich is hurt at the end of the game. And I guess Ed Hockley just gave him the benefit of the doubt. He could have called that grounding. And then Kelly and the Bills head home with a mark of five and five. Steelers go to seven and three. Pittsburgh wins at the final score. Pittsburgh 23, Buffalo 10. Talk to you next Monday from Houston. Until then, Al Michaels, Frank Gifford, Dan Hero, Lynn Swan. Good night from Pittsburgh.